Instagram here. I think Facebook is working. We're doing two at the same time. Hopefully. It's Hopefully it's all right. working. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Air One. What's Thanks happening? Thanks for having us. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> what a fun day to just have worship. Yeah, we're with, worshiping with so Live many other friends, friends today. Friends. I just wish we were actually together. I know. But that's all right. It's the season we're in. Good to be we with you guys. It. Yes. Thanks for having us, Air One. We love you guys. Thanks for having us. And um, we're going to do two songs. Going to hang out for a minute. Yeah. And uh, we're just kind of waiting for a few more people to jump on. But um, it's an exciting week for us. Yep. My album releases in two days. Woo! The whole thing. It's good, you guys. It's really good. Thanks, babe. I think it's the best album you've ever done. Thanks, babe. It's really good. I'm ex I'm really excited about it. So it's a fun week to just hang out, get to hang out with you, and we're gonna do one of the new songs and another song you might know. So um, I'll just share for a second. Um, we're gonna do a song called Your Nature, and you know you don't always know what kind of impact a song is gonna have until you release it, and then. Uh, you see the impact, but I've just gotten, we've gotten so many comments and posts and emails about this specific song, Your Nature, and it's just blown our minds. It's mm -hmm. just been so powerful. And it's a song, like most of our songs that come straight out of scripture. Um, and I was just going to read to you, um, I need my Bible app, not my map app. Thank you. <laughs> Um, it's in Isaiah 41.10. It says, Do not fear, for I am with you, says the Lord. And then it says, Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. And I looked up dismayed. Dismayed also means do not be distressed. And then I looked up distressed. Distressed means do not be anxious and do not have sorrow. And I just was really floored by that. God says, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you, and I've got you. And um, this song is just scripture. It's, it's a declaration over your life to come out of a season that has felt barren, to come out of disappointment and sorrow and hopelessness, to remind your soul that God is in control, that he's got you. And God used this phrase, my nature is good not just nature outside his character is good his heart for us for you is good it can't be anything else right and so that's what this song comes from that's kind of the theme we wrote around and it's really just a really strong prayer that and, and i feel like i'm interceding over people when i sing this because there's a part that says break out of disappointment and break out of hopelessness and stretch your hands out and believe that God's going to come through on the promises that he's spoken over your life. So we're going to do this. It's called Your Nature. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. We're just going to worship.
I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying that uh, somebody said they're in the hardest time of their life and uh, just different stories kind of popping up. And so we just pray that in this season that you find the faithfulness of God in this season. Yes. Uh, he's faithful every time. That's and uh, we just pray that you see his presence, that you feel his presence all around you. Yeah. You feel him with you. He never leaves, never forsakes. Uh, you can take everything else away from us, but you can't take away the love of God from us. Romans 8 says nothing can separate it from the love of God. And that's the hope that we're holding on to in this yeah. season. As a family, we're holding on to it. And we're so thankful for God's presence. We're so thankful 
that he's always around us, always with us through every season. And so wherever you're at today, we just pray that you, you see him. He gives you eyes to see, see him in your life working and moving. And, uh, and so, you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff lately about don't disengage and don't disconnect. I just think it's really powerful. I think when you're going through something difficult, sometimes you just wanna like crawl back in bed and put the covers over your head and just pretend that it's not happening or, or you know, just like go inward and try to figure something out. But I just encourage you, we encourage you to not disconnect from, from community, from godly community. You know, whether you can do that in person or not, it's just as powerful to do that over the phone, over FaceTime. Yeah. You know, not disconnecting from just friends that can speak life. And, yeah. you know, even just yesterday, we were feeling a bunch of warfare. Um, this is album release week, so the enemy, um, we just felt really attacked yesterday. Mm -hmm. Not that we put much emphasis on that. I don't like to give him much time a day, but it was a rough day yesterday. And so we just reached out for some prayer. And, you know, right after I sent the text, I thought, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just prayed and, like, dealt with this myself. But the moment I got on the phone with my friend, something shifted. I felt like just having someone else connect and just pray and agree with me, it broke, it just broke anxiety, yeah. didn't yeah. it? And it, yeah. we felt just the, a surge of prayer. And so just reaching out for prayer and reaching out to yeah. friends and so. Maybe after this is yeah. over, uh, ask God to put a friend on your heart, call him. Yeah. Just call him up or a family member or yeah. Whoever call them and um, and I even know Air One's <clears throat> constantly doing live chatting when they've got yeah. you know connection with people. So do something to connect with somebody just to say, hey, I need prayer. Or I just I just need a friend to talk to and process yeah. some stuff with. So anyway, yeah. so good. Our hearts are for you. We're with you and yeah. just love you so much and um, pray blessings on your your life, your family, and that you just would feel the nearness of the presence of God. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Well, we'll do one more here. This song's called The Blessing. We'd love to sing it over you today. Yeah. And just pray that, uh, like we said before, that God's presence would just be all around you today. Amen. Whatever you're walking through. So. Amen. And hello from the Philippines. Someone keeps saying they're from the Philippines. Amazing. That's amazing. So, we love you. Here's the blessing. Lord bless you. shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.
today his presence all around you yes. above and beneath you in front of you behind you yes and everything you're stepping into uh we just pray his presence we pray his love and his grace and his mercy and his strength yeah. uh to get through whatever you're walking through today so thanks for joining us thanks for singing with us worshiping with us yes we love you so much love you we hope to see you again soon for real in person somewhere come on in Jesus' name. Come on. You know, I want to do one thing. I felt really strong that when we sang those words, and you're weeping and rejoicing, that those that have been weeping, and maybe just not through this pandemic, but maybe you've just been experiencing intense loss. Maybe you've lost a family member. Maybe you're just in such a season that just feels so sad. I just pray for the joy of the Lord to be your strength. And I pray that this sorrow that you've been walking through would break in Jesus' name, and that mm. You just would feel a shifting of that and uh, that the joy of the Lord would just rush into your home today, into your car, wherever you're working. Maybe you're sitting in your car on your lunch break, whatever it is. We just pray for peace, for joy, and that that would shift really quickly. Yes. And it would become rejoicing very yes. soon. So yes. That's all. We Amen. love you so much. Love you. All right. Bye, guys. See you later.